So, y'all know... I've been talking about the Gremlin, Gremlins, you know, the 1984 movie. Uh, yes, we got multi-purses. We got Gizmo and Stripe, the characters from the movie, playable characters. And, um, well, multi-purses, but for some reason they were not you had to unlock them by using the tokens or the gleniums. Uh, not just that. In one of the Battlefield games, I think it was Battlefield Hardline, you go to a shop that looks exactly like the China shop from the Gremlins movie, the first one, where you can find the box that Gizmo was in. And... Uh, you can also find... A little creature in Borderlands 3 that looks like Stripe. But besides the point, I don't want to... We're not talking about all of that. So, the shocking thing that y'all, well, should have known about the Gremlins. That the movie was supposed to be rated P... It was PG for a reason. And... Many people complained about the movie not being for kids and all that. And, like, in 1990, almost, like, the six years later after the first movie came out, they had to make the sequel PG-13. And, again, I know this has nothing to do with the, the rating, like, uh, the rated of the movies, but the most deadly part that I was completely shocked about that the Gremlins was supposed to be an E rated R. Yes, crazy, an R rated Gremlins movie. But good point, Steven Spielberg, the director of E.T. Jurassic Park, had to step in saying. Let's make this movie a little PG for the kids. And that's what he did. And that's why we got the Gremlins that was the Gremlins that we know and love now. And I still need to watch that show on Max because I need, because I just started the first episode. And I haven't seen the rest of the episode yet. But anyway, guys, because like. Comment, subscribe. Now, before I end the video, like I said, uh, shoot, do you guys really want to see an R-rated Gremlins movie? Let me know down in the comments below, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.